Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show Anniversary. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212. I am with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, there's Phil. What's up, Philip? Hello. What's up, Sally? What's up? What's up, Chris? What's up, guys? All right, so it's still the sixth anniversary of the Everything Show. We're celebrating this week. So, Chris, what news do you have for us? Okay, so this is actually something I've wanted to talk about for a little while um, because I think this is really exciting. Um, I, I know you're going to think that this is pretty exciting. So let's just get right into it. So okay. Com- it was obviously last weekend. We're coming off of that right now. And for the first time ever, Toho was there. Oh, boy. And they, were, they went into pretty good detail about what the future of the Godzilla franchise is going to be. Um, both the MonsterVerse and their own whatever they're doing right now. Right. So one of the officials there gave multiple interviews and you can find all these online. These are all confirmed, you know, hundred mm-hmm. percent. And basically from what he said, right. I'm going to kind of paraphrase here a bit. He said that Toho is extremely happy with the MonsterVerse. Oh, they wow. Everything, everything that they've seen, they said has been, a hundred percent fine with them. They have no issues with it whatsoever. If it was up to them, it would continue. They have wow. no issues with that whatsoever. One thing that I really liked was that uh, this guy said that specifically there have been representatives from Toho that have made trips back and forth between the U S and Japan. Okay. Specifically for the script for Godzilla versus Kong. Oh, and from what he's saying, they said that they are 100% fine with everything that happens in the movie. Sweet. So, win or lose, they are happy with the way Godzilla is being handled. So, okay. That's good. Now, so now, we don't have to worry if they want to continue the MonsterVerse and getting... On Toho's end, it sounds like they're fine. He specifically said, if it was up to them, both the MonsterVerse and their universe would continue simultaneously. Okay. So that's good. That the, is excellent. The only thing that we need to make sure is that Godzilla vs. Kong does well, and I don't see an issue there. Okay. So they also asked him, in the world of animation, are we going to see any other Godzilla animated films? He said, basically, again, I'm going to paraphrase here, yes, you're definitely going to see more. Whether or not they're going to continue the Netflix one, he said most likely not. It's probably going to be something different. However, there's always the opportunity to continue the Netflix one as well. But he said you're definitely going to see animated films for Godzilla in the future. Oh, oh sweet. Not necessarily, uh, not necessarily Netflix. Okay. Yeah. Um, so then they, they asked him the big thing. They were like, so what are you guys working on right now? Okay. What is happening in Japan right now? Yeah, and what are they working he said, we don't have anything in production right now. Oh. However, he said next year, something's going to start. Something. And he said, what really excited me about all this was two things. He said, the flow of communication and information about what's happening in Japan with Godzilla <laughs> is not going to be isolated in Japan anymore. It's oh. going to be a continuous flow of whatever we know, you're going to know from their new Twitter, their official Twitter account, and wow. the web. So we're not going to have to just stumble upon information back like it was in the old days, where it was like, oh my gosh, they're making another Godzilla film. <laughs> Meanwhile, they've been filming it for seven months already. Right. Now it's going to be like, you're going to know right off the bat. Wow. The, the other thing that really made me happy was, it sounds like whatever they're going to do, is going to be a joint production between Japan and America. On Toho's end? Yes. Oh. So That's interesting. So what they're saying is if this is a joint production, we might get it at the same time or shortly thereafter Japan gets it. But does that also mean that there will be American actors that will be in their movie? I'm sorry, you broke up there. What? what does that also mean that there will be American actors in their movie? Yeah, potentially. Like big actors. Probably. Not not like Hollywood huge actors, but I can oh. imagine that there will be an American cast member. Okay, okay. Um, 
So, I mean, more than likely, the next film they're doing is a Godzilla film. It can't I be. would assume it's probably a Godzilla film, yeah. Right. And, okay, now, would, would, he, would he be fighting, like, somebody known other than... That, that, was, that was another thing that they... Like that Hedorah they, or something? Like the Smog Monster or something? Whatever? That, like. that was another thing that they asked him. I think this was in a separate interview. He said that himself and the representatives at Toho are perfectly fine with updating older characters and bringing them into the modern day. However, wow. however, he said that if we get a director in Toho who says, I want to do my own monster against Godzilla, they said, we will not stop them. Mm. So they are yeah. open to it either way. Okay. A new monster, possibly. Mm. <clears throat> I like that. As long as it, listen, I'm all for a new monster. As long as a new monster is effing cool. Right? Yeah. If it's like really awesome, yes. If it's like a, a Muto, Muto, no. I don't like a Muto. Like, I mean, I'm like really cool. I'm talking about like that, that, that creature you told me about, like the, the, the griffin or something we could have had. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Gri whatever the hell thing was. If, it, if you're going to create something awesome like that, yes. But if you're going to create something that sucks... Don't waste my time with that. So, what about, uh, what about a remake note. of uh, Inframan? Would you be welcoming that? <laughs> Inframan, you got to see the movie. Trust oh, me. Okay. It is Let, the most yeah, honest let's, thing. Let's not do that. No. Yeah. Um, side note, I was going to say, if, if anybody from Legendary gets wind of this video somehow, put the fucking Griffin in the MonsterVerse, please. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Please. Yes. You have the writer from that movie in the writer's room, contact the friggin' estate and get the fucking monster in there. Let movie. that be the next movie after Kong. Yes. Seriously. And let's get another Kong movie too, by the way. Like, that was a successful movie. Let's let's have Kong have a have a a villain. You know. Something. I thought he did. It's called Brie Larson. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. And I'm not saying Mecha Kong either. I don't want to see that. I want like King Kong to actually have. I'm I'm telling you right now too, and and this might be this might be a potential spoiler for Godzilla versus Kong. It's right. a rumor right now, but um. King of Doors. It? It, no, it, it it seems like it, I'm going to say that there's like a 65 percent chance that they actually have Mecha Godzilla in this movie. Holy shit balls! I've been hearing way too many rumors that have been lining up with stuff that that has been announced already. And it's going to look like Godzilla and then it takes, then it shows like the metal underneath. Like, like when he no, knocks no, it. It, it would probably be full Mecha Godzilla throughout uh, the whole. I like uh, that when he was posing as Godzilla. Yeah. And then that, that was the uh, reason. But got there, there's uh, uh, allegedly uh, from what I'm hearing, there is an element of that in the movie. Okay. Where, where he looks like Mecha Godzilla throughout the movie. But basically what they do is they incorporate the orca into Mecha Godzilla. Whoa, so, wow. so that when the other Titans encounter him, he sends off the same signal that Godzilla sends off. Uh -oh. And they, they get confused. They're like, wait, is this Godzilla or is this like right. something oh, else? Nice. So Godzilla so, sends a signal, he sends a signal, like, what's up? Right. So so the running theory right now based on that clip from the end of King of the Monsters that said some sort of mechanized giant on Skull right. Island. The running theory right now is that they test this thing on Skull Island. Kong encounters it, and he's like, what the fuck? And he and thinks it's Godzilla, and then he gets pulled up. And then when Godzilla, when he encounters Godzilla later on, he's like, you're that one that was on my island. Okay. Godzilla's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And right. Then, yeah. Oh, I, I love that. I like that idea. So Let I me mean, ask you a question. I have one big question for you. Yeah. Remember how I said that I thought the egg was Mothra? The egg isn't Mothra, you're saying? So, okay. So it's, it's funny that you, you, you ask that. Um, somebody asked Michael Doherty point blank. They were like, it, was that Mothra's egg? And he was like, yeah, absolutely. Oh, see? Yes. He went, he went yeah, you were right. But he went one step further than that. He said, the way Mothra species works in the MonsterVerse is that when one dies, it transfers its, basically its consciousness right. into the egg 
so that when it hatches, it's basically the same moth. Right? Excellent. Thanks. So nice. That's excellent. Essence transference. Yes. Basically, it, he said something like it's like a genetic memory kind of thing. Excellent. So I mean, that means Mothra could return. There's a, there's a, nice. there's a way for her to come back if they want excellent. to. Excellent. Happy about that. All right. This is shaping up pretty nicely now. Okay. Now give us some good news about Star Wars. <laughs> um, oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on. Oh, yeah. That doesn't I'm not, stop. I'm, not, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong. I'm just saying oh, that. Oh, my. But there's just nothing wrong know. with Luke drinking alien breast milk? Well, no. Well, there's that. nothing wrong with the lightsaber. That's wrong for different reasons, though. But They're like, going to have that music video, which I sent uh, Joe. Um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't have any news on Star Wars, mainly because nothing has come out. I, I, I know that there are, there are, of course, the people out there who are going on YouTube and making their theories about how everything is related to everything, and, and this is what's going to happen in the movie. Right. Um, hey. Nobody knows what's happening in this movie, except for J.J. Abrams, some of the cast, and... Except, yeah. except for the Emperor regenerating into the Doctor. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, no, you will die. No, no, can't wait for that. Come on, you can't wait. I can wait. Emperor? Really? I, yeah, I could. <laughs> you know what? You know, Canto bite. Yes. It bites. <laughs> no, that was a bad joke. It was a bad joke. I know. It's fine. It's fine. I, I you know. know. Um, Damn it. What 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 can I tell you that will that will make you happy? I I mean Luke's in it. Okay. Um, hey. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I know. That that's right. There are uh, Sith troopers. That's their official name, Sith troopers. Uh, so I mean. That's that's nice. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. All right. What other franchise? About. Well, you, you, you need to tell me what you think about Andy Serkis potentially being the director of Venom 2. I think that would work. You don't think that That's would work? That's really cool to me, actually. It's yeah. not. No, it, not. I think it, it is cool. Yeah, I, I, I think that's great because – Yeah, I think that's awesome. Let's, let's make the movie look like a movie. Let's, let's like make it look yeah. good instead of like a – I mean, I liked it, but it was like a B movie or C, you know. I agree. You know, let's make it look like an actual, you know, let's, let's take this shit seriously. I'll go one step further and say, let Andy Serkis direct the movie and do the motion capture for Venom. Oh, him do the motion capture I for Venom? I would love that. Okay. He would bring so happen. much personality to that role. Right. I'm fine with that. I, I think Marvel timed their big carnage storyline at the wrong time if they want to link it up with the movie, but this is going to make me broke um, in a week. But this Venom, Carnage, and everybody and their mother in this Marvel crossover thing. Anyway, uh, so Venom 2, hopefully this is, the, this is like the Superman 2 or the, you know, Empire Strikes Back of Venom, man. Hopefully, like just I'm hoping that's really better than the original. I mean, I don't know. Oh, that's right. Speaking of Superman, uh oh. Mm -hmm. So JJ oh. Abrams, we called that one, didn't we? He's going to be doing DC films. I hear silence. You're not happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> JJ has got the S, bro. He's he's get he's gonna be the one that makes my Green Lantern movie, isn't he? Yes. 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 Oh yes, it's true. It's damn true. Listen, as long as he doesn't fuck it up, <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> do, do, listen, if he if he if he somehow makes this movie worse than the one that we got, oh god, it's gonna oh, be Jesus H. It's gonna be. It's going to be a – I'm going to tell you right now, I can see him screwing up Green Lantern. Yes. Superman, no. 
Green Lantern, yes, absolutely, 100%. Well, it, it was. Is he going to have every single scene with uh, Green Lantern having lens flare? He's going to be ridiculous with that, I think. He's going to make it cringeworthy, I think. Or corny. Is he going to, is he going to do the speech? Well, you, you have to do the speech. I mean, But is yeah. he going to make it corny, though? Listen, I don't want another Hal Jordan Green Lantern, though. I want Jon Stewart. That That's my only... No, you know what he's gonna do? I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet you right now. It's gonna be a female Green Lantern. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you right now. And no, what now? On that note, though, there, there, there are female Green Lanterns. So I'm not like it, you can do that because there's not just one Green Lantern. My thing is though is that I would just like to see a John Stewart Green Lantern. It's probably gonna be that girl that's in the Green Lantern from the Fifty Two, right? Yep. The one that yes, is probably going to have a baby with the flesh. Yep. In the future. Oh, is... oh her. Yeah. Oh, see? See? Yeah. Oh, her. Oh, her. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think you could do a really cool storyline where, where, like, you don't have to do the yellow lanterns. You could you can make a, the villain a red lantern or something, you know? Like, be he something just, cool. He just needs to not. I would say just do Superman first. And just well, you know. Superman needs something because I mean. Yeah. But will he use Henry Cavill, or is he gonna like? How, what what's gonna happen? With that? No, well, now they're saying Cavill's not officially out of Superman. But, but no. what, what what did what did he what did he say, Chris? He will use him. No, knowing J J Abrams, he'll cast somebody else. He probably will. He'll he'll, he'll cast somebody else to be the to be the part. So that's the end of the DC thing, then. There ain't gonna be no. To me, multi universes there. I'm telling you, they're gonna be in a weird situation if that Joker movie does obscenely well. Yeah, I can't wait till I hear about that thing doing well. Listen, the only situation you're gonna have is they're gonna make a sequel to it and Batman's gonna be in it. It's gonna be the Batman of that universe. Yes. Then you have get... glitters. No, 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 it's not. That's from all... that's gonna be a different universe, but like they're gonna have to have a new Batman for that. Which maybe the Russos will take that on. Suppose they want to do a Batman thing. So, what about Batman Beyond? I heard that's like circulating, like they want to do a movie about See, that. I, I think Robert Pattinson would make a good Terry McGinnis. I think he could be that character. But Terry McGinnis yeah. is younger than him, though. He, he, he's younger. Yeah, but he's got the, yeah, but he's got the look of uh, Terry McGinnis, if you think about but it. He's, he's in his 30s, I, I, though. Yeah, yeah, but you know what my thing is, though, is that they could, they could alter the story a bit. To make Terry McGinnis a little bit older. I mean, I, I don't I don't think that there's an issue there. I I agree with Phil though. I I think that if you and I've I've actually seen comparison images on Google and stuff. If you put them side by side, the the Terry McGinnis model yeah. of the character and Robert Pattinson, you can kind of see some similarities between the two of them. Yes. yes if you can. dye his hair black, that is, you know. So I mean, I. I think that would be a really interesting way, and I think that would make everybody like me, who's like, "Oh God, no, not this guy is Batman." If he's Batman Beyond, it's like, "Oh, okay, well maybe that's you know that'll work." Yeah, because they're not but really we're... destroying the Batman of this era. But wouldn't Michael Keaton make a good older Batman? No, or no, you wouldn't do that. I think you could do that. It just like you wouldn't connect it to the old Batman films, but you just say at some point he was Batman. For... So I have a question too about that because now. He had a three pitcher contract. Is that contract broken, Michael Keaton, where he's locked? Because if he didn't appear in the last movie, is that broken, that contract? Are you talking about for Spider Man? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Or is it just, oh, we have a certain. I mean, don't you have a timetable like you did Nicolas Cage to be Superman that he would have to appear as the Vulture within a year or two or three or whatever, and then the contract's null and void? Because they got him locked for two more movies, supposedly. But he never appeared in the last one, so... Yeah, I don't know. Hmm, that's an interesting thing. Wow. All right. Wonder Woman is going reshoots. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, there's something weird going on with that movie. I think so, too. I, I think, think they're, 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 in, they're, they're looking at that and going, uh-oh. This sucks. Well, I didn't like that poster that was all weird colors and yeah. shit. I, I I think she jumped the shark with that movie because one, if, if what I'm hearing about the synopsis of the movie is true, 
like her making a deal, almost like Spider-Man making a deal with the devil, her making a deal to save what, Steve Trevor? That's bullshit. She wouldn't do that. Like she would do that irresponsible thing and screw up stuff. I doubt it. And supposedly this is it isn't this in another universe? That's what Patty Jenkins keeps implying. Like, that it's not it's, the Wonder Woman universe. It's weird. It's, oh, it's a God. weird. I, I think that she said that, and someone at, at Warner Brothers was like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, what, are you, what are you saying? Now? Because yeah, you know what it is? She's joking. restricted. She's restricted. She can't do certain things because it, it would screw up the timeline with Justice League. So right, well, yeah, exactly. yeah, like that's going to... No, but still, you're, you're under rules, though. Like, still... Like, well, that's the thing. I, I, I feel like who's ever in charge of DC and, and it's been, you know, collaborating with Warner Brothers or whatever, I feel like they've forgotten the rules. They're just like, just I think that nobody is in charge of anything. I, I, I think and, you're right. And she's just like, I'm going to do this. And nobody's telling her no until they get heat for it. And then she'll go to a Comic Con and they'll be like, what did you do? Like, I and feel like they have to get somebody in there that just like puts the hammer down and is like, listen, you this need is how a- it goes. Kevin Feige, right? Like, for them, like, they, they yes. need somebody. Now, I got annoyed because somebody put out an article, pissed me off, about they're trying to make a false accusation that James Gunn is not going to do Guardians 3. And I'm like, dude, he's got to do the movie, the Suicide yeah. Squad. He yeah. said that, though. You, yeah. you cannot be on top of the man. Are you? Are you, Are we there yet? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? Are you done? No, yeah. he's not. And, and the pressure of that, he's going to take even longer. So let him finish the damn movie. And as soon as it's done, he's going to do prep work for Guardians. It's Yo, that's, why, that's why Guardians Volume 3 isn't even on the, on the Correct. list. Correct. He so, said that. So he's got yeah. more than enough time. To, he to said that. There's no, and, and that's why they're putting the Thor movie ahead of that. So people are going to get confused. Like, oh, is Thor going to be in the Guardians too or not? Which, that's another thing. I don't know if you want to jump on that. Yeah, because yeah. I don't think he is. Uh, oh, no. I was going to talk about that the, uh, Thor Love and Thunder. Yeah, let's go. That thing is getting ripped to shreds already. <laughs> because, it, 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 first of all, you're making it that the whole movie is gushy, gushy, love, love. Yeah. Here's my queen. She's a lesbian. Um, where is the plot? And where and and oh, let's get Jeff Goldblum to marry them. Okay, but what's the plot? And where is the threat? And 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 it doesn't matter. We got the lovey dovey stuff to make it into a chick flick. It's like just, it's animated. I just think it's funny that people are already ripping it to shreds, and literally they just announced the title. Like that's the, that's right. The only- that's supposed to be ball busting title, like basically. But yeah. like. Listen, the whole thing. So, and another thing too, if they came out and said she's a lesbian, she's not a lesbian. She's bisexual because wasn't she like with a, ro- a romantic relationship with the Hulk, and then it's implied that she likes women too. Uh, you can't say she's a lesbian. And 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 she gonna be, would be with Jane Foster all of a sudden? Is Jane Foster gonna be the queen of Asgard? Are they gonna retitle Asgard as Guardian like they did in the comics to show the femininity and the feminine side? And and instead of Odin being the main thing, it's Thor's mother because it's women power. Well, she's dead, so I mean, you know. Well, not not necessarily. God, the as Guardians come back to life, unless it's changed for the MCU. It probably is. Well, and and wasn't he originally supposed to be going to Valhalla and pulling them out? I, I just want to know how did she get the hammer if the hammer was destroyed? Like, it has correct to be a hammer it has to be. A different I mean, goal. they're not going to do that. She has to have the same hammer. They're going to have to explain that then. because They're going to, She's going to have to have the same helmet. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they say that the, the, the dwarves from uh, wherever they were never do They re- reforged the hammer? Yeah. 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 Hold on one second. Yeah, it's, it, I just think it's funny that, you know, Speaking they announced the title and, and they show Natalie Portman holding up the hammer and everybody's like, the fuck is this? Like, yeah. <laughs> Speaking, speaking of hammers, I, I had to get it. I said I wasn't gonna. But just for the, they got me just for the cover. They did. Just the ball buster. Like, yeah, I got the hammer, bitch. 
F off. How terrible that is. I'm, 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 I'm worthy. You're not Thor. Kiss my ass. And what happens if he drops that? It's going to go through the bridge and cause a massive, like, cow. Well, it would just land on the bridge, but just be there, right? I mean, so, I mean, he's just, he's just showing off that, you know, he's worthy and Thor's not. And it's like, that's nice. Okay. So, yeah, he's got the hammer, everybody. He's oh, oh. Look at that face. I know, right? Look at that smirk. He's like, yeah, man. I got this. What a clown. I mean, uh, but like, I mean, they give the hammer to anybody today. Except <laughs> Thor. Right. He's like still worthy. worthy. But Thor. He's, like, he, he'll, he's villain killing people. I'm worthy, man. I'm worthy. It's like, what do you mean, Marvel? What do you mean? It's hilarious. It really is. Thank God it didn't set me back. It was only four bucks. So I'm like, okay. I just, I had to get it because I'm like, you know what? If I, I, most of my stuff that I was getting was getting canceled anyway. <laughs> Which, you know, I needed new stuff to read, obviously, because I didn't know, like, these books that I got that canceled. That's funny. That's so weird. As Guardians of the Galaxy canceled, Champions canceled, Black Widow canceled, Wasp canceled, 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 canceled. Oh, speaking of Black Widow. Yeah. I guess there were some set photos or set pictures of her fighting Taskmaster. Oh, nice. On yeah, so that's that's gonna be. Is he is he an awesome looking Taskmaster or is he like shit? I saw the concept art. He looks pretty cool. Yeah. Concept right. art is always looking cool. It's transferring it to the big screen is when that's they true. have their problems. And and Baron Zemo is suited up right in the uh, Winter Soldier and. Uh, yeah. Top. You don't sound happy about that. Oh, I, I, I just I haven't yeah. seen enough to yeah. warrant my caring yet. Um, right. I'm, I, I got to tell you, I am most excited for uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Me too. Yes. That's yeah. amazing. And we called that. We said that he's going to be having to do with the multiverse. I, I yeah. knew they were going to do that. Well, the fact that they threw Scarlet Witch in there, too, really makes me wonder. She's gonna, At the end, she's going to have a breakdown. Yeah, I think she's going to break down. She's already, she's already having a breakdown in her show. I think she's going to cause whatever he has to fix in that movie. Like, and Yeah, I, I'm thinking Nightmare is the one that brings everything into. He's going to bring the X-Men in. Yeah. Watch. She's going to be the cause. We watch this. I can't and wait. You know what I thought was funny, too, is like they announced Thor, Love and Thunder, and everybody's like, what the hell? And then they're like, no, it's okay. Because Blade... And everyone was like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> what the? Yeah. Like, just. They are like, fuck Thor. What do you mean? <laughs> like, no, but they're doing what, they, doing what I predicted, what they did in the comics. That's why he joined the Avengers. So, so now, yeah. they're going to do that. An Avengers movie, they're going to distract the shit out of you from Thanos. And they're going to start getting weird shit in the Avengers movie with Blade. Yeah. That's exactly what they're going to do. So they're going to lead you into a false sense of security for the next Avengers film, which, Chris, I told you to do more Avengers films. So well, I, I'm still dubious on that because I, I still don't think they're going to be called Avengers. But Well, here's the thing. The, the, the villain of the next Avengers movie is not – It's don't expect the next Avengers movie to be like on par with Endgame. I mean, it's mm -hmm. going to be you're, – you're building up, I guess, Kang the Conqueror or whoever – to be like down the road. So more than likely it's probably gonna be Kang the Conqueror or Silver Surfer or something. I don't know. But like they're gonna build that up obviously. So we'll see. But I'm just wanting the Fantastic Four to be done right. Yes. I'll be happy. Way. I want Doctor Doom to be done right more than anything because he's got a bad rap lately. He could be the main villain of the next. Uh... He, well, see, that's, you don't want to rush him because he, he needs to be with the Fantastic Four a little bit. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I don't like that. I, I don't want them to just jumpstart him to be sequel wars and shit. No, but he has the potential, though. He, 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 he is. I mean, he, there was that comic where he just ripped Thanos to shreds. Like, just, yeah. I'm Doctor Doom, like, F off, basically. I mean, but 
And then we got the Spider-Man sequel that I don't even think they they know what the hell they want to do. Oh, you know, you know, I I want to bring this up before we we got off. Um, yeah. They announced in the Shang Chi movie, right? That the Mandarin, like the actual Mandarin, is gonna be the villain along with the Ten Rings. That's right. really interesting to me because I thought they were going away from that whole idea, mm-hmm. but apparently they're like, no, we're we're full steam ahead with it. No, he yeah, said yeah. that since people are pissed off with that, they were yeah. gonna fix that. They said that. Mm-hmm. Out. It was going to take time, but they were going to fix it. They, they promised everybody. I think Kevin Bates promised. So that was on the drawing board for a long time. They just needed a movie. That actually, that actually like increased my interest level. Matt. Yeah, me too. Definitely. I mean, do you think that they would put Daredevil and Kingpin in the Spider-Man movie? If they could, like if they're legally. Why they can't they just be by himself? Like, why can't we just – like, I want him by himself in New York. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see anybody. I'm sorry. I mean, I just want to see him by himself. Unless they're afraid that the act they got cannot hold a movie by himself. He can. I mean, but this show you know? yeah. This movie made a billion dollars already. No, no Spider-Man movie has ever done that. So – but I just – I mean, I want to see him. Like, no mention – I mean, of course you're going to mention Iron Man and everything. But, like, yeah. I just – want I don't want to see Avengers popping up. I don't want to see – but if you're going to have to bring anybody in there, I'll accept Kingpin because Kingpin was Spider-Man's villain. joint venture, yeah. No he, was, no, he was Spider-Man's villain that they lent out to Daredevil. He was Spider-Man's villain first. And they said, yeah, you could borrow him. And then he became a Daredevil villain. But, like, he was always Spider-Man's villain first. Mm-hmm. So, like – you know, and then they lent out Mysterio. Then they lent out this and that and that. But no, he was Spider-Man's first. So I would want to see Kingpin where he belongs with Spider-Man first. And then we could see. If you want to bring Matt Murdock in to, like, prove that Peter Parker's not Spider-Man, that's fine. But, you know, I don't know if they're going to do that. I think probably maybe they'll 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 keep the Kingpin from Netflix, you know. Matt Murdock. Yeah. Because he would love to. I thought he said he would love to come back. Yeah, Denof- right, Denofrio, right? Denof- D- yeah. Denofrio. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Vincent Denofrio. Yeah, I would definitely accept him as the kingpin. And then they're talking weird stuff about Craven being a Wakandan. I'm like, please don't. Oh, let's not. Yeah, no. I don't know. Where, where did that come from? Don't do that. Oh. And, and, and oh. nobody would want that anyway because it would diminish the Wakanda. Well, you know, you know what's interesting about that? I, I think that this would actually be a really good idea casting-wise. I think uh, Joe Manganiello wants to play that part. He does. I was like that would be cool. That would be interesting. I, I know that I don't know if he's the the right. But isn't he locked with DC? What is he locked with? Yeah, but you know what? They're not using him anymore, though. Like but he's see, fun, that stroke, but they they that's ridiculous. Yeah. Now I, I here's the thing I'm more worried about. What happened with Black Panther two? Because that was supposed to be filming now. I thought, and 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 what's the name is um, uh, the one who plays Michonne is going to be filming. But like, what? Why is that? Why was that not listed? I it, they said that Black Panther two, Captain Marvel two, and Guardians Volume three are 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 going to be released at a later date. But why? Which, uh, you know what I think they're doing? I think that they're going to use Phase four as like. Uh, New Let's people. build up some of the new ones and then some of the ones that you're familiar with right now with like Doctor Strange and them. And I honestly think that phase five is going to be this like unbelievably huge blowout with just everything you can think of. Black Panther 2, Doctor, uh, uh, Black Panther 2, Captain Marvel 2, Guardians 3, Fantastic Four. Yeah, but you see, I think, well, that's phase four. I don't think any of that is. I think – they the could- they could change it, but from what they're saying, and, and this was confirmed by multiple sources there, they said everything that they announced, that is phase four. Right. And he even said that they have they didn't, they didn't want to show phase five with phase four. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Blade, something happened with Blade, though, that they're saying phase five. I which, think Blade's going to be phase four, to be honest with you. I think they're all phase four. But I think for some reason, I mean, they also got to get them on the same page, too, because whatever they decide to do, they want to interconnect it, so they got to put something oh, yeah. in the movies. And first, I think they want to see what they want to do for Black Panther too. Because are, they good, are you going to show who was the leader the whole time that he was away, or like what are you going to do with that? I, to be honest with you, I I, I think it was his mother. 
I think, I think so too, but I mean, yeah. you know, you got to explain that. I, I actually, one of my friends had a really good point that they brought up with that. Cause I remember I was talking about reading a, a rumor that back, back before Endgame came out, someone said that M'Baku became the new Black Panther. And I was like, well, that makes sense because he challenged T'Challa and he almost beat him, but obviously he didn't. So who, you know, he would obviously be the next logical choice, you know, to be the Black Panther. And my friend brought up a good point. He was like, well, there probably can't be another Black Panther, at least at the moment, because um, Killmonger burned all the fruit. Correct. So at maybe least they think so. At least, at least as far so. as we know. So maybe, maybe they, they literally couldn't have been a Black Panther because it's still growing or they just don't have the means of making another one. But I have a feeling that, that somebody had put the fruit away. Like, I, yeah, I could have sworn one of, one of the caretakers uh, took one or a few of the uh, things. I'm sure that there's a way to restore that, honestly. But... That scene that they cut from Endgame was amazing. It was good. Yeah, well, I, I can see why. Why the hell? It. Why? Because it it was too redundant to do that and then do the one with the funeral. And then people got pissed off with Gamora, but they don't understand that that's not the Gamora we know. She doesn't know who Stark is. You don't know who he is. Why would she know? I yeah. was totally okay with her just walking away because she doesn't know who he is, and why does she care? That wouldn't you know? make sense if she knew. She don't know who he is. Yeah. So, all right, we're running out of time, but thank you, Chris. Thank you guys for the anniversary, sixth, sixth anniversary. And we'll be back tomorrow. All right, guys, take care. Bye for now. Bye.